Hi, good afternoon. I'm John Hiley. I'm a pastor serving right here at Grace Lutheran Church in Fairmont, Minnesota, and I'm here with what I hope is a word of encouragement for you today. So this month, I've been encouraging people at Grace to start asking the question, why? Why do we do what we do as church? What's your why is the, the way I've asked this question, the way I've heard other people ask this question out loud. And I want to encourage people to grab into Scripture and grab into the stories and grab into the verses that give us encouragement. And today I'm going to grab a verse from Psalm 34 that I find really encouraging for us today. It says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. So I think about the world today and I think about all the challenges and all the things that people are worried about and fearful about. And then I hear this word in the psalm and it says, the Lord will answer you. The Lord will set you free. And I want to encourage people today who are living in a time of uncertainty. We're living in the middle of an election season. We don't exactly know what's next. We're living with a pandemic around us. We definitely don't know what's next. We live with all this uncertainty, and here is this promise we get to share with the world. Not that we have a solution to the uncertainty in ourselves. No, the promise is that God meets us exactly where we are, that God meets us and walks with us in the middle of our fears, that God delivers us not by taking us out of the situation, but by coming and being present with us here, now, today, in his word, in his people, in the promises that we have in this encouragement. So we seek the Lord today, like this psalm says. We seek the Lord and he will answer us. He will come and walk with us and walk with us as we walk through to deliver us from our fears. So I encourage you today to be full of hope, be full of courage, be full of encouragement for other people. Reach out to other people who may need to know that God's love is real and with them even in the moments when they are unsure what's next. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for getting to be your people. We ask you to help us to share this promise that your love is with us, that you are with us, that you walk with us and that you will walk with us through the moments of fear and terror through the dark valleys, that you are God with us and for us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, peace and blessings, friends. I encourage you to be encouragement to others. Bye-bye.